Dan the Man here, doing a quick video demo on how to speed hack a Super Nintendo game. Simple in theory, maybe not quite so much in practice. So, before I begin, I'm going to assume that you have gone to snesadvance.org, that you've gone to Tutorials, Improving Speed, Speed Hacking, and that you've read this over. You're definitely going to want to be familiar with this. Uh, some of it doesn't apply, like the stuff about the memory viewer here, because we're going to be using uh, SNESI Boy, not SNES Advance. However, you do have to know this stuff down here, hello, okay, about these instructions. These are the hackable instructions. If it doesn't start with this, for the most part you can't hack it. There is a special way which is outlined later on this page for in red for other types of ones, but for the most part, you're going to be looking for these values. Now, that said, let's minimize it. Head over to my Snazzy Boy folder. I've got Super Mario All-Stars here. That's the game I'm going to demo. Drag it over to snazzyd.exe. You need to do that in order to create a debug version. Open that up. Open up the Snazzy Boy debugger. And attach to emulator. And it is attached. Excellent. So, open up Visual Boy Advance here, and hit Run. Now, it's going to be rather slow because we have no speed hacks applied. We're going to try to make this work better. As it starts fading out, I'm going to hit Stop. Waiting. There we go. Alright. And let's just do that. Okay. Now, We've got, if we hit 10 a few times, we'll see that it's got two instructions. It's flipping back and forth between these two instructions over and over and over. We're currently at VC125. It will keep doing this until VC225. And then a certain amount after that, and then it'll be time for a new frame. Uh, what, this VC, if it's under 225, you can hack it. If it's above that, do not touch. So we're going to do this. If you've read the document, you'll know that this is the instruction you want to hack because it starts starts with FO. This is the address where the instruction comes up in the ROM, 80. If you open up this this ROM in a hex editor, you will find at address 80, FOFB, 20CC, whatever. So we're going to copy this. Seems pointless for now, but with larger addresses, it's easier to copy. Go over to our snezzy.dat file. I've taken the liberty of getting the CRC value for this uh, already. You can get that in most Super Nintendo emulators. ZSNES shows it for a split second at the beginning when you load it. SNES 9X, you can get it from the information screen. Type the CRC, vertical bracket, all stars, anything you want, just some human recognizable format. Then we're going to do the address is equal to 42 and then two more values. If you've read the document, you'll know it's F and B, the first and fourth values of this hackable instruction. So our final will be 42FB. B. I'm going to save that. File save. And we're going to create a save state here just so that it's easier to work with in the future. Save. Okay. We're going to rebuild the game. Snezzyd.exe. Okay. Open it up. Reattach it. Load the save state. Alright, it loads it up in the same state it was at before, the VC of 125. If we hit 5 instructions, we'll notice, hey, it just jumped to 224. That's awesome. We just skipped 100 of these VC numbers. And um, there's about, what was it, 27,000 or so of these uh, individual instructions per uh, per frame, and I believe there's about 100 for each of these VC numbers. So we just skipped about, um, man, I suck at math, 10,000 instructions? I don't really know. If we run it, we'll find that it's actually running at a playable uh, thing right now, playable frame rate. Let's just hit start to demonstrate the point, and it actually works at a decent speed. If we reset the game, we'll find that the intro is going to load a lot faster this time. So, that's speed hacking. Now this game is special in that each of the four games contained inside has their own speed hack things. So I'm just going to demonstrate with Super Mario Brothers. 
And first I'm going to set up the controls. Come on. Disable those. Control L, Control A, A, Control B, B. All right. So now you can see it's running rather slowly. I'm going to use the, well, no, I'm not going to use the speed up button. All right. This, I would not want to play this, ever. This is ridiculously slow. So, we're going to pause that, well, no, don't pause it. Come on, continue. Continue. Please continue. Okay. So we're going to stop that. Alright, we're at a VC of 5. That might be too early. Let's see. Yeah, it's too early. Alright, going to run that a little bit more. Alright, we're at 128 here. That's good. 20. Alright. Another loop ready for the hacking. Again, we want the one that has FO at the beginning. So, 181AC is going to be equal to 42FB, because that's the first and fourth. So, come over here, new patch, add a comma. That address is equal to 42FB. Save. Once again, we're going to create a save state. Sorry about that, my friend was giving me a call to let me know that they found the place they were looking for, and it was closed. So, <laughs> back, where were we? Alright, we just added the new value, we've saved it, we did the save state. Alright, rebuild Super Mario All-Stars onto SNESI D. Double click. Alright. Reattach it. Load the save state. And run it. Uh, no, before we run it, I want to demonstrate. See, jump from 129 to 224. We just saved a lot of speed. Alright, gonna go here and run it. And now it is at a playable frame rate, in a manner of speaking. Now note that this will run faster when it's not in debug mode. It'll also run faster when I'm not running a very CPU intensive video recording application. So this isn't entirely an accurate representation of the speed. But you get the idea at least in that we just improved speed by a very noticeable amount and I just suck at Super Mario Brothers. Wonderful. Anyway, so that's the basics of speed hacking. Um, I could go into detail about the other games in this collection. Basically, each one's going to have its own set of speed hacks that you'll need to find. But we've already done all that for you for this game. I'm just demonstrating how you do it. If you go to the Pocket Heaven forums, you'll find the latest snesadvance.dat file. Uh, you can actually just rename that to snezzy.dat for snezzy boy. Uh, there are a few specific games that need S uh, sorry that need Snazzy Boy specific patches, but for the most part, you can just use the SNES Advance ones. Uh, also, note that you don't need anything for the Donkey Kong Country series because they run as fast as possible as it is. That's all I've got. Uh, feel free to message me on YouTube if you need help. Just please have a clear idea of at least what you're trying to do. I don't want to have to explain what a speed hack is in the first place. So, that's all I've got, and Dan the Man, signing off. Bye.